The Boeing 747 is a versatile platform that changed the way we consider passenger travel and cargo operations. However, the US military saw an additional opportunity to use the airframe to transport aircraft and deploy them in flight, creating the first airborne aircraft carrier. To begin with, we need to understand why such a crazy concept got traction in military circles. After all, the US military already had vastly superior fleets of Navy aircraft carriers that could transport entire squadrons of fighters around the world. A Boeing 747 would be no match. As it turns out, there were several perks to the idea. An airborne aircraft carrier could fly to areas that were away from the ocean such as deep within the Soviet Union, which had a vast inaccessible interior. An ocean-based aircraft carrier can take days to reach the battlefront. An airborne one could be on site in mere hours. The military previously had airborne aircraft carriers in the form of blimps that carried a squadron of biplanes. However, they were too dangerous to use in bad weather and too slow. While bigger planes could fly around the world, such as the 747, small fighters could not. If a 747 could refuel fighter planes in flight, then it would solve the problem of fighter jet escorts being unable to keep up. For this idea to work, there were several different requirements for the 747 and its parasitic fighters. For one, the smaller fighter planes would need to be small enough to fit inside of the Boeing 747 fuselage. Otherwise, the drag inflicted on the fuselage would slow down the 747 and burn too much fuel. But these fighters couldn't be too small. The smaller the plane, the more turbulence would affect it during the docking process. The 747 airborne aircraft carrier concept would carry 10 micro fighters in a stacked configuration. The plane would be powerful enough to carry not only the fighters and the crew, but enough fuel and weapons to refuel them and rearm them. The entire assembly would carry 44 crew to keep the micro fighters ready to go, with 12 carrier crew, 14 fighter pilots, and 18 logistical mission specialists. The plane would also have a crew launch and sleeping quarters. Alas, like all high-concept aviation ideas, this design never saw the light of day. While the first study did show promise, the Air Force decided not to invest in it. With the rapid arms race escalating between the USSR and the United States, the concept of a 747 carrier became outmatched by better designs and more powerful fighter jets. The idea of a microfighter, while impressive, in reality, would not have been able to go up against the latest ground-based or Navy-based fighter aircraft. Today, the military is still open to the idea but has replaced the 747 with military transports and the microfighters with drones. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel.